Hey there folks, sorry for the late upload, I have been crazy busy. If you want to find out what I've been busy with, read the description. Anyway, this is a UU battle against Gaming's Network, found him through the Smog on Wi-Fi Battle Finder. He leads off with his Azelf, I lead off with my Yuxi, so it's a battle of the elves. He's going to go ahead and U-turn out of there, uh, not letting me really see what his set is, but based on the fact that he doesn't take any life orb damage, I'm guessing it's a Scarf or Bandit set, probably Scarf based on the, that damage. I go ahead and set up Stealth Rock, so that's nice for me. He's gonna, I'm going to go ahead and psych his Roserade, kind of a weird which I thought, but I see that he's going to go for the spikes. I was actually hoping that he would go for the sleep powder because I've got the lumberry. I think it's actually a chesto berry now, so it would have just been a wasted turn for him. Plus, if I could actually let my Patrick go to sleep, and it really wouldn't affect the game too much. Uh, it looks like the best he can do against me is Sludge Bomb, so I'm really not fearing, and he just decided he wanted all, some damage off of me. Uh, he's going to go ahead and withdraw at this point, go back into Azelf, as I just go ahead and go for another... Oh, no, I actually go for a rescue. That was a total misclick. I actually meant to go for a second. I was like, no, no, why did I go for rest? I did not mean to go for rest. But I recover back all of my HP and wake up with a Chesto Berry, so it worked out quite well. I go ahead and withdraw at this point, just send out Clank, expecting him to U-turn, and knowing that Clank resists it. So yeah, here comes the obvious U-turn. It did practically nothing, and that is A-OK -okay with me. Now my opponent is going to send out Suicune, who is pretty threatening against my uh, Golurk, but that's okay, I have it's early in the battle, I have many, many Pokemon who I can switch in. This is a leftover set, I mean, what... I rarely ever see Suicune's without leftovers, so that's not really surprising. I go ahead and send out Kazulu. The worst he can have against me is Ice Beam. He goes for the sub, so if this is, uh, depending on the set, he might not actually carry the Ice Beam, which would be really nice. So I'm just going to go ahead and recover a little bit with leftovers. My Kazulu is really not fearing anything, so he's going for Calm Mind. So Calm Mind, sub, two attacks, one of which is going to be Surf. Or, I guess, Hydro Pump. So here I go for the Power Whip, just to break the sub, and I'm a little bit fearing uh, that I can't take a plus one Ice Beam, and that's probably the last move, unless it's some kind of weird hidden power. I'm back up to full HP, though, so if there's any shot of me surviving, it's this turn. Goes for the Ice Beam, I'm like, and I survive with 114, I'm like, yes! I go for the Sleep Powder, rather than going for the Power Whip, not exactly, well, I didn't think the power-up could one-hit KO, and I figured this was probably a good way of phasing him out. He might withdraw if he has some kind of cleric on his team. He does go ahead and withdraw, sends out Azelf, and I'm going to go ahead and just go for the power whip. It is going to hit, and Azelf, being a frail little elf, is going to die in one hit, and that is excellent for me. Kazulu is now back up to 156 HP, and I can switch it out at any time and regain a third of my HP. Now it's going to come Chandelure. Not really afraid of Chandelure. Going to call back, go out into Blake, expecting a Fire Blast, or I guess a Flamethrower. Any kind of Fire move would be great. Instead, he goes for the sub. So he's running lots of subsets. I actually am a big fan of uh, sub-split Chandelure. I'm actually going to be running one on my Sam team when I remake that team. Uh, you'll see it on my channel in a few weeks, I guess. I don't know, I haven't really started breeding yet. Anyway, Shadow Ball is going to hit Blake. Blake is going to survive with 64 HP, and I am just going to... Uh, he's going to go and withdraw here. Go out into Roserade. I'm locked into my Wild Charge because I am, in fact, Banded. And here's the thing. Banded, even though he resisted... Uh, Roserade is down because it doesn't have the best of defenses. I'm down to 49 HP, can't really switch out here. He sends out Ambipom, and you know the fake out is obvious, but I don't think I can take the spikes damage, so he actually goes for the pursuit thinking that I might switch out. I have no idea, it wouldn't have helped me at all to switch out. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and send out Clank thinking I could probably wall this guy pretty well. I mean, maybe he carries the, I was expecting him to carry maybe the payback. I was not expecting the grass knot, and I was like, holy crap! So I'm actually too weak to make a substitute. I must be right at, it must be, I have to do the math. What's 368 divided by 4? Anyway, there's nothing I can do here. I have lost my Golurk, and he's going to go ahead and pursue me, and that is going to take out my Golurk, uh, but there's really nothing I could have done. He outsped, uh, you know, if I withdrawn, obviously I would have died. So out of now is going to come my Hugabug, my... Galvantula. He's going to fear that, and he's going to switch out into Zapdos. I'm pretty sure I just went for the Thunder here, uh, which is going to be regularly effective against Zapdos. Indeed, I do go for the Thunder. It hits. Boom. 
and that's going to do a hell of a lot to his Zapdos. Zapdos survived with a sliver of HP. I see it's a leftover set, not a Scarf set, uh, so that's good for me. I go for the Bug Buzz here, thinking he might want to switch out by some chance. Uh, not sure why he would have, considering I'm pretty sure I have Rocks up on the field. So anyway, out's going to come Ambipom. Now I'm fearing the, uh, the Fake Out, so I'm going to go ahead and swap out into Kajula because Galvantula is pretty frail. And indeed, he does go for the Fake Out. It's going to hit. It's actually going to do a lot of damage to my Tangrowth. That's okay, though. I don't really think he can do anything now. He Indeed, he is going to withdraw his Ambipom, and interestingly, he sends out a Suicune. Now, I know that I have at least one turn of him being asleep, because sleep turns reset if you switch out. So here I go for the Earthquake. I'm not sure why I went for the Earthquake. That was actually kind of... I, thought, I guess I was predicting a switch. Uh, I think he was. I thought he was using Sweetman as a pivot switch, but indeed he wasn't. I go ahead and send out Hugabug, hoping he doesn't get a wake up this turn because that would be awful. He stays asleep, and I'm like, thank God. Um, anyway, gonna go ahead and go for the thunder here. It's gonna detonate. Gonna take out his Suicune, and I'm gonna be one happy camper. So down goes the Suicune. I am happy. Do not have to worry about that thing anymore. Not that I was really afraid of it. I mean, so Subcom Mine takes a while to set up. Here again, I'm going to fear. No, actually, I predict him to go for the Pursuit. And so I go for the Bug Buzz. That was an excellent move on my part. I take out his Ambipom. And now he's down to just his Chandelure. At that range of health, it's not going to be able to survive a Thunder, and I know it's not a Scarf set, so this is good game. So great game, Games Network. I hope you folks enjoyed this battle. Check out the stuff in the description. Four words, Challenge Cup for Wi-Fi. Peace out, folks.